Now y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it. Team Raw What's good, everybody? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about Carlos King and Marceau Scott, okay? But before we get into any of that, let me let you guys know that I will be doing a review on Love and Mary Chunsville on tomorrow night. Um, it will be after Terrence is live. We are both going live to discuss Love and Mary Chunsville, so be on the lookout for that, okay? But the biggest thing to be on the lookout for is on Monday, Bad Boys Los Angeles. Me, Jamar, and Maddie Rince will be talking about Bad Boys Los Angeles at 8, 7 Central. If the time changes, I will let you know, but most definitely tune in to that. We have a great time when we talk about it, and y'all seem to be enjoying the reviews that we do together on this show. So be on the lookout for the Bad Boys LA panel with me maddie and jamar on monday nights okay be on the lookout for that all right period point blank okay so um any other promotion that i have for um the scotty by nature tv brand will be talked about at the very end of the video period so right now we're about to get right on into some things okay i have an article here from urban bill magazine.com where it talks about carlos king basically having an opinion about marceau's solo trip to africa now what i will say about this is that carlos king is just like the fans he have opinions just like the rest of us do and i am very interested in hearing um his opinions okay now before we let me let me get this graphic up here because i forgot to get the graphic up let me put the graphic up real quick okay so um carlos has some things to say about it and we're about to get right on into this thing okay so you know what we do over here we're gonna read the article dissect it and then that will be the end so let's get into it because anytime i have some love in mayor chunsville tea it gets a video of its own because that's all y'all want to hear so let's get into this right now so let's start it off with the article love and marriage huntsville star marcel scott has been a hot topic on social media at least at least um, Lord have mercy, these folks don't know how to write. At last season's reunion, he admitted that Martel Hope brought his mistress, Ariane Curry, around. And he said that the first time he saw her was when the men parted in Atlanta. Carlos King asked Marceau and Maurice Scott if they were around to witness Ariane and Martel's connection. Marceau said yes. Mar Maurice said no. But he later told Kimmy Scott that he was at the club that night. Not too long after, Marceau posted a photo from that night on Instagram. Maurice was in the photo. Marceau's Instagram posted, no, Mar Marceau's Instagram post resulted in Ariane accusing the Scott brothers of cheating. On social media and during an interview, Ariane said she allegedly saw Maurice and Marceau with other women. Both men have denied this, but the cheating allegations continue to follow them. On the recent episode, Marceau was called out for the Instagram post. And interestingly enough, the fans of the show have had a lot to say about a revelation that he made. He said that he traveled to Africa alone to clear his head and he wasn't able to contact Letitia Scott during the during this time because he didn't have a working cell phone. Some fans have suspected that this means Marceau was probably with another woman. However, Marceau has pushed back on this and he said that Africa isn't the destination that men would take their side chicks to. There's been a lot of talk about Marceau and Letitia Scott's marriage. And although there hasn't been any concrete proof that Marceau has been cheating, unlike Martel Holt, Love and Marriage Huntsville fans continue to speculate. In fact, Martel's former mistress, Ariane Curry, has accused Marceau and Maurice Scott of cheating. She alleged that she saw both men with other women. Maurice and Marceau have denied stepping out on Letitia and Kimmy Scott. However, the accusations still haven't died down. On the recent episode, Marceau revealed that he recently traveled to Africa by himself. The reason that he left Letitia behind is that he felt like he needed to clear his mind. So a solo trip was needed. Letitia didn't appear to have an issue with Marceau's choice while they discussed this on the show. Show. However, fans have had a lot to say about Marceau's decision about on social media. And recently, Marceau pushed back when the fans accused him of being with another woman. He feels like he feels that this opinion is nonsensical because, in his opinion, men don't take their side chicks to Africa. Marceau also said that he can see why women get cheated on if they think that this trip to Africa meant that there was another woman around. Well, Love and Mary Chunsville executive producer Carlos King has some thoughts. While he was on an Instagram live, 
He recently said, I don't care what you call me, but what you won't call me is a person sitting at home while my man is in a different content. That's me. Monique Samuels even went to Africa with her husband and their four children. So you do not go to Africa by yourself. I'm about to play this audio because apparently Urban, Mi Urban Bill magazine got some audio to go with this article. So let me play this audio real quick. Okay. Hopefully don't know ads pop up. I don't care what you call me, but what you won't call me is a person sitting at home while my man is, a, is in a different continent. That's me. Monique even went to Africa with her husband and their four children. You do not go to Africa by yourself. I don't care what you call me, but what you won't call me is a person sitting at home while my man is, a, is in a different continent. That's me. Monique even went to Africa with her husband and their four children. You do not go to Africa by yourself. Okay. All right. I think that's it. And basically, Carlos said what he said. Carlos said, oh, my eyes are red. I, I need to go to sleep, child, but I'm steady up here working. Carlos said what he said now. Carlos said what he said. So, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. So, Carlos said what he said. He said what the fuck he said. He would not be sitting here in America while his man is on an, is in another continent. And truth be told, I mean, for me, if my man did not give me a reason to think that he was out here cheating, then I probably would not be pressed about him going to another country. I mean, sometimes just like women need to get away and clear their heads, sometimes men need to get away and clear their damn heads. That's just the truth sometimes. But when you got a man like Marceau, who you don't really trust like that and who has this, has the tendency of making himself look guilty when he don't answer questions straight up, then of course you're going to feel like, okay, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you out here in, in, in another country? You know what I mean? And my thing about it is, just like Carlos said, Monique went to Africa with her husband. And my thing is, Marceau, what make you think that niggas don't take women to their side chicks to Africa? It don't matter where they take them to. Africa might be the ideal place to take a side chick because that would be the last place a woman would think that a man is taking another woman in. Marceau just sounds stupid. Like he really tries to sound all intellectual and all intelligent when he talks about this shit and i just be feeling like he make himself sound like a, a total dummy in the asshole like what the fuck are you talking about africa ain't a place for side chicks girl please like you think ain't no side chicks in africa right now side chicks are every damn well side chicks is in parent paris side chicks is in italy and um all of that shit so i don't know what you talking about or what you trying to do so it is what it is So I'm just like, Marceau, stop. But I agree with everything Carlos said. Just like I said, Carlos said what the fuck he said. He said what he said, and that's just what it is. You don't be in you don't be in Africa without your wife. That ain't a place you go to without your wife. But like I said, if a man ain't gave me no reason to believe that he out here doing his own thing, then I probably wouldn't be pressed about it. The only way I'd be pressed about it is if they're giving me a reason to question their moves and the, and the steps that they decide to take. But at the same time, if I got to question your moves and the steps that you're making, why the fuck am I still here with you then, if that's the case? So I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see on that. But like I said, um, Carlos said what he said. That's all I can say on that. Carlos said what he said, and he ain't changing on it. And that's just that on that and facts on facts. But before we go, let's get into the promotions for what's to come on Scotty by Nature TV.
And the whether you like it or not panel returns on May the 2nd and it starts Scotty by Nature TV, giving you the real tea, Josiah's World TV, Yacrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina. We will be covering the Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as Basketball Wives all spring and all summer. Um, the influence with Reggie Artis, we will be talking about black music and black music only, and, we, and it will have a guest appearances from some of our childhood friends, as well as TTB and others. Who Was Wrong is another column that will be coming out in um, April alongside the influence where it will be me and 10 other content creators, where we have a banter about feuds on reality TV, sitcoms, drama series, movies, or what have you. Whatever they chose, that's what we went with. So be on the lookout for Who Was Wrong. I've already filmed the first five episodes of who was wrong and i am so excited about you guys seeing them most definitely roasted review is also something else for you guys to look forward to roasted review comes out every wednesday at 8 7 central on scotty by nature tv giving you the real tea and josiah's world tv's channel we roast review candy and the gang as well as love and mary chanceville every wednesday it's a rotating panel you will see it on all three of our channels so be sure to subscribe to all three of us so you can get your weekly fix of roasted review as well as our playlist we have a playlist of roasted review right here on scotty by nature tv and last but not least least is boys night out okay boys night out um comes back next saturday at 9 a central be on the lookout for that as you see me terrence josiah jamar and um um maddie come together to spill the tea and just have a good time on a saturday night okay and that's pretty much it so be sure to like rate comment subscribe share my video click the notification bell so you can be notified when the video drops and also Follow me on all social media. My Twitter and my IG will be down below. But if you want to follow me or want me to follow you back on IG, all you got to do is hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message team Scotty, and I would definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, your boy is out of here. Until my next video, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.